When day two starts, most images and designs are set there. Day two is spent refining that imagery and uh, using your strategy to maximize your production time. You know, my saw, my biggest saw broke. <laughs> it wouldn't start. So I've been using everything else right now. It's gonna be a, a bird flying away that's a pheasant. It's gonna be a butterfly. It's kind of like the highlight of my piece. Forget the deer, forget the bass, forget that. Forget the really hard, intricate cuts. The butterfly is what's gonna sell it. The first two things I think of, I don't do, because somebody else is gonna do them. <laughs> It's all about getting outside your comfort zone. I think it's about pushing yourself each and every time you're out there, trying to do something new, trying to do something different. The theme is uh, fall has it all up north, uh, wildlife, so wildlife. It looks like almost everybody's trying to, trying to follow the, the wildlife theme. One artist is just veering off of that a little bit. He's uh, carving a couple of photographers. And he's a humorous, humorous fella, and he try yeah, that always comes in your character, always comes out in your work. He'll have a really nice piece, but I don't think he'll necessarily be one of the one of the top ones. We're in the middle of day two, and I can see the basic idea and some of the flushing out. But you know what? These guys are artists; they're full of surprises, and these are being worked on until they're done. By day three, they're tightening up their pieces with uh, detail and color. I carve really smooth. My, uh, my carvings when I'm done with the saw is real smooth, real finished almost already. And I've developed a technique of just getting where my detail doesn't take me very long. At the end, it's like a shotgun event. You gotta really go bam, 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 to make sure that it really looks good. Finish fast, finish hard kind of extreme. The judging in our competitions is key to keeping the competitive spirit alive. The judge is going to be looking for, of course, a theme and then stuff that's finished nicely. Uh, we should clean up really good. I like to look for motion, balance, you know, movement in a piece. Is the piece really finished? Um, are his cuts clean? I know what uh, all these folks here are capable of. I have high expectations of those folks. They all know that I'm going to, you know, my judging will be very harsh. It's been a long week. We're going to start awarding everything. Third place, Mark Culp. Mark did that beautiful thing. Second place, Don E2. Which brings us down to the wire here, the very last, which is first place, Brad Sharp. There's the, the Golden Trophy Award. Brad Sharp. So I don't know where the future is going. I mean, good artwork's never going to go out of style. It's been around for pyramid days, you know. We're putting our hearts and souls into our work, as you can see from some of the work here, and we want it recognized as a real endorsed art form. I feel very fortunate to be involved with Chainsaw Sculpture at this time. We believe we have a bomb ready to explode, and I want to help light the fuse.
There could be a, a less violent metaphor, but that's the one that occurs to me. <laughs> <laughs>